Eddie actually yeah. molds them and packages them and tells them what they need to think yeah. and what to believe and yeah. and then it's gone, right? So they don't they're not in tune with uh, what they but, normally were before. You know. Have innocence. you seen Have you seen the movie called What the Bleep Do You Know? I've That's heard, exactly I've heard what it. the discussion is about. Really? Yeah, I've yeah. heard of that one. It's 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 an awesome. Is it like a doc? About, it's like a documentary type thing, right? It's a documentary, but it's also a movie at the same time. So oh, okay. there's like a through line through the movie that's an actual like movie, mm-hmm. and it's got mm-hmm. Marley Matlin in it, the um, okay. the actress, and uh, yeah. and then it's documentary that runs parallel with it, like through mm-hmm. the movie. Oh, okay. It's it's an amazing film. It talks about like if you want to see a sh- if you're looking out at the water and you say you see a ship on the water mm-hmm. and then the next you tell that to the next person and the mm-hmm. next person all of a sudden there's a ship on the water right, right. there isn't really a ship on the water no. but you convince everybody can people. believe it is. Mm-hmm. like people yeah. convincing That's... each other religion mm-hmm. yeah just saying yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I know. Cool. The world is a very interesting, complicated place. Wow, this place. was supposed to be an entertaining conversation. <laughs> we got so way deep. too deep, man. Where's another drink? <laughs> Not enough alcohol to get this deep, I tell you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah like, I mean, it's all an interesting concept. Yeah. And I mean, you know, it's like fear and, and, and what you want to believe and what you want to see. And, right. Yeah. But, like, with your podcast, for example, so how many episodes are you guys up to now? 200 and something? 230 or something. Holy shit. Holy They're crap. Both- and yeah. do you do you, can most you... of them are cones. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, the first, yeah, the first season was by myself. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. Yeah, there was a whole story about why the podcast started and why I was doing it by myself. That's a story for another time. But <laughs> uh, and then in the second season, I think Todd came on a few times, mm-hmm. and then guest appearance. Yeah, and then it was fun. And sure. it forced us to hang out more, so, <laughs> yeah. you know, at least call each other more often. It's not your mother more. enforcing it, so yeah. that's always nice. Yeah. yeah. You're a keeper. <laughs> but uh, I think my favorite guest, the, the my favorite guest of all time that we had on the show was my mom. Oh, nice. right she on. Told, oh, she told stories about uh, when she was in the scene, because my mom was a, was a fairly famous singer back in the 60s. Oh, nice. And she told stories about the scene that I'd never heard before, like, you know, her time on TV mm-hmm. and all that sort of stuff. And cool. Yeah, yeah. It's still, like, one of the top uh, downloaded episodes. Excellent. Like, was was the... she in a band, or what was her... She was with the Pete Porter Orchette, okay. and she was also with the Blue Notes. Oh, okay. And there was another one in there, too. Yeah, back in the Maritimes. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That's they were excellent. huge. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That's pretty neat. never seen any footage, though. Damn, no. nothing? Oh, no, crappy. we've been searching for years. Oh, they, shit. CBC, what they do is they take their tapes, all their audio recordings, all their video recordings, mm-hmm. and they record and record, and when they don't have any more tape oh. or anything to record off, they tape over it. Crap, right. they didn't archive a damn thing? No. Ugh. No. That so sucks. mom actually made cut, like, cut singles, like 45s or whatever. Cool. And she doesn't have any of that. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. I didn't hear about that. No, Damn. she she cut at C, it was CB at CBC. She cut. Oh, she someone's got to have forty five somewhere. It's got to be somewhere. Sure. Yeah. I'm sure of it. Huh? It, it'll pop up eventually, hopefully mm-hmm. at some point. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, that's that's what's nice about now with the technology, like our kids and our family are you know oh. further down the line. Yeah. You know, God, 20, my... 50, uh, 50 years down the road, as long as they have access to these type of videos or, or right. whatever format that's going to be holograms or whatever it's going to be <laughs> in, in the future. They'll be able to come back to this Aren't and go, you? oh, yeah, that's my great, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of scary, whatever, whatever, actually. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, I never thought of it that way. That's a good point. Oh, that's my God. Cool. Yeah. So, that's Abby, scary. if you're listening to this. <laughs> go to bed. Check in on your sister. <laughs> it's bedtime, damn it. <laughs> Boy, I used to pick on you. <laughs> right on. That's funny. No, that's cool about your mom. Wow. Yeah, that's, that is uh, cool. That's nice. Yeah. Go back and listen to it. It's good. I will. Yeah, yeah. No, I will it's, tomorrow. It's actually... I don't know. I really like that. Paul, we should have her on again in the studio this time. Though. There you go. You wag that yeah. finger at him. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. You must have mom. And your parents, like, is your father still around as well? or? Is no, your... he's passed away. Oh, yeah. he is? Oh, I'm sorry. But, you know, like, I'm sure your mom would get a kick out of having her on again. And, oh, yeah. You know, like. Well, when you, when you, you, it was just you and mom, right? Yeah. I called her. I, I was outside the Pyramid Cabaret. <laughs> waiting, waiting for you guys to He's show like, up. Hey, mom. And I called her. <laughs> That's what it was. It was That's like before funny. a show. And cool. I just called her and said, Mom, let's do this. Oh, Excellent. really? Yeah. 
Oh, you have to have her in the studio with both of you. Then. Yeah, we'll have to have her in the studio. We'll have the video going and everything. That'd be cool. Yeah. We'll just we'll cool. set it up. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. God, my parents would never do that. No. No, nah, my mom's well, too tight. Mine are gone now, but no, I know. my dad, you know, and that's a big regret. My dad had some really wicked ghost stories. Like he had some, a lot of weird shit happen in his life. And, and thank God I, I've written notes on it and, mm-hmm. and I've told them on the show and, yep. and, uh, and he was willing to come on and talk about it. And now he's gone. So yeah. that's too bad. I know. Is that what got you started? Is that what got, what got you started? Kind of. Yeah. Indirectly, I guess, since I was a kid, like just, you know, filling my head full of things and telling mm-hmm. me stuff and stuff from the country and, yeah, because, like, you know, his whole family comes from southeastern Manitoba and stuff. So, like, that's just fucking haunted out there. Yeah. Like, you have no well, shit out there. Yeah. People being murdered yeah. all the time. Oh, like, my, my great grandmother was murdered out there. And just, oh, just, yeah. just bizarre Something in the stuff. goddamn water there, if you ask There me. must be something I in the water. God, she comes is. out from that. Well, way, I don't come from well. that way, well, but my, your family, my does, family yeah. does. Yeah. 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 So, some weird but shit yeah, there. like, you know, uh, my father was a big influence in telling me, like, these things that would fill my head. And I'm like, oh my God, I want to learn more. So, you know, and then we'd always talk on the phone and he'd mm-hmm. always tell me more stuff. And yeah. So it's just, uh, I guess, yeah. So I guess he kind of, he yeah. kind of indulged me. Mm-hmm. He had a big portion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Big portion. Yeah. And I think he's the only one really in the family that would really talk like big family but i think he's the only one that would really get into that kind of stuff i think everybody else would be just like no no yeah shh. that didn't happen we don't talk about that <laughs> yeah. 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 football or whatever something else but not yeah yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much i don't know there was other stuff i was gonna ask you boys and i can't uh you can't think of i should have written it down i always i'm always things down, down. Yep. well i've got a, i've got an i've got another ghost story oh okay. well spit her out let's hear it so I'm right at her. um so I, I was married previously before before my wife um and we had we couldn't have kids or anything like that but we had two dogs love those dogs to bits and then when we split uh even though i fought for it i wasn't able to keep the dogs Poop. Hmm. so we both got us you know after the divorce like i, I never got to see my dogs again Aww. and i they were they were they were everything to me. Mm-hmm. so it was really hard to give them up oh yeah but um, I was driving on the perimeter highway and uh, driving by where our house used to be. Mm-hmm. And I had this moment of just this weight on my lap as I was driving. Oh. And I literally had to pull over because I, I couldn't move my arms to steer properly. So oh. I pulled over and then all of a sudden I like, felt like just the nuzzle. Someone come um, visit you. Saying goodbye. Aww. Yeah, and that's exactly what it was, and I and I didn't even know. Like I thought the do- you know, I thought the dogs were still fine. Right, right. Yeah. And then I got a call later that week from someone who still spoke with her, with my ex, right, and said, "Yeah, your you know your dog passed away this week." Aww. I thought you should know, and I was like, "Oh, she came to say goodbye." Aww. And it was, but it was like she always she Comforting wasn't a lap kind dog, of? but mm-hmm. but she always sat on my lap. She'd sit Aww. on my lap and she'd nuzzle, you know, almost like a cat, Aww. and. Yeah, so she said goodbye, and I'm glad she did because yeah. you know I'm sure she sure she missed me because I missed her. For oh sure. shit! And yeah. I'm sure you'll see her again one day. Yeah, yeah. You know? right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think so. I'm sure some of her spirit is in my my current dog because <laughs> there's certain things that this dog does that it's like, is that no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Who taught you that? Yeah. 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 I'll tell you real quickly a really cute sad dog story so we had our dog our first dog for 15 and a half years and that was my baby best dog in the world like this dog i have now is just a little shit love her but just yeah bad Mm -hmm. you know my dog my first dog was um like a double a double coated um not a husky double coated uh, border collie right so fur all the time like poof 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 everywhere you know we had to put her put her down and because she was just you know she was like a little delusional disoriented she was falling down i'd have to for six months i'd carry her outside and everything and explosive diarrhea for no reason and just you felt yeah. bad for the dog like it was just bad she was deteriorating really really bad her joints and everything right so we had to put her down and a couple weeks later and stuff i'm walking through the house and there was one poof of fur i guess i didn't vacuum up and just as i always did i'll go to pick it up and i'm like oh my god this is all i have left of her uh-huh. you know like i'm like this is it uh-huh. so i went fur. yeah so i went and got like uh i have found a silver locket at uh, one of these um trinket shop a trinket shop trinket. or whatever and it actually had like a little window so i put it in blue tissue paper and i put it oh, in my nice. locket mm-hmm. so like we had her cremated and i have her here and stuff like that and i would actually hear um for weeks after i would hear the creaks in the floor of where she used to walk and lay down all the time 
Like oh, it, yeah. it took yeah. a few weeks and I could, and, but there would be nobody walking there. There'd be nobody there, but it was almost like pressure on the floor in that certain point of how she would round out into the living room to come and lay down. Yeah. So I would hear yeah. that for weeks. Yeah, and, uh, and then once I picked up the fur, it, I didn't hear that anymore. And oh, really? I have it in my little locket Aww. that I wear. Yeah. Love my dogs. Yeah. Death, so. death does not separate us. You see. No, no, definitely does not. <laughs> so. I don't know. Yeah, there was other stuff. I guess we just keep talking forever, but uh, it is a it is a school night, so uh... <laughs> not for me. <laughs> I'm an Ever. artist. I have no job. No, whatever. <laughs> so. I do have a child though, so yeah, but I do have to wake him up for school. Yeah, you uh, have to be on on top. Mommy duty. I yeah, hate being on mommy duty all the time. Mommy Nazi. Frick. Mommy Nazi. I know you gotta be the Soup bad Nazi. You gotta be the bad cop. But uh, I guess um, we'll, at this point, um, we'll thank uh, Sean and Todd from Sean Geek. Thank you. Check Excellent. them out. We'll, we'll put all our, we'll put all your oh, link, link, links, link, 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 link everywhere. Link. And when we, yeah. uh, you know what? And, and you guys are so special. I think if I can get this edited by Tuesday. Oh, you're so special. You're so special. She's brown nosing. Um, <laughs> you guys will be our 50th episode. Oh, How you about probably that? will be. Yay, oh, nice. 50. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh, 50, 50, 50, 50. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Thank so I'll you. just I'll just close off our show like we always do. And uh, we say, after we're speaking about ghosts and... Speaking sh- about ghosts and... Sprechen about ghosts. Sprechen about Sprechen about Deutsch. Sprechen about Deutsch. <laughs> Live every day. Go for it. Like it's your last. Like it's your last, but... but never give up the ghost. Never give up the ghost.